Hello and welcome to this short video presentation where I'm going to show you how to make a very fun Pac-Man game in Scratch. So it's fun and it's easy and it's quick. So when your game is finished, you will be able to move your Pac-Man character around the maze, collecting the snacks and avoiding ghosts as much as possible. Okay, but if you do happen to hit a ghost, the game will be over. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, I've already created a short video about how to create your Pac-Man character and how to make him uh, munch and how to move. So if you watch that, you'll see. But what's the important thing now is to go on to making the maze. And what's interesting is the maze is a, um, it's a sprite, it's not a background. Okay, so I'm gonna jump to my other game here, okay. And how to make the sprite? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to need to go to paint. Okay. You're going to need to there we are. And what we'll do, we're going to use squares, okay? And we're going to use squares without a fill. So we take out the fill, okay, and we choose the colour. I like the blue, the blue colour for that. Okay. And then and you'll make you want to make it quite a thick, you know, not too thick, maybe twelve or something like that. Okay, well, let's do a green one, shall we? Okay, then you head over here and you start making your squares and the best way to do it is to make um, line it up so it's in the center. You're going to want you to, you're going to want to put it right in the center of the character screen here. Okay. So click on zero and zero. Well, it's right in the center. Okay. Right, and you've done one, and then you're going to draw another one inside that. Okay, and then another one inside that. Right, then what you're going to do is start drawing some lines, different areas that the Pac-Man and the ghost won't be able to travel. Okay, and what's great about this is you can really kind of customize it, and you can make it as easy, as difficult as you like. Okay, you get the basic idea there from what I've done. Okay, and then you use the eraser, and to choose bits where they can they can then go through. Okay. So that's basically how you make the maze. And like I said, you make it um, as a sprite. Some people make a mistake by making it as an actual uh, background. That's wrong. You need to do it as a sprite because we need to be able to code it. Okay. So there you go. That's a very sort of basic one. It'll give you an idea of how you can create your background and how you can get on with it. Okay. Once you've created the background, what you need to do then is you need to code it so that your Pac-Man character will travel around the maze. Now, you won't bump into it. So you need to use this piece of code here. Okay. So you need to have when clicked, when clicked forever, Okay. if not touching. And then you need to go here. You need to click on your, click on your actual sprite. So if that color there is not touching, and then again you're going to need to click on this little button here, head over to the blue. So it doesn't matter what color you've made your maze with, you'll, you'll still need to come over here and, and, and get the exact color. Okay. And then, so if it's not touching that, we can move two steps, two steps, two stops. But what happens then is it means that if you hit the side, you can't move. Okay. And so you can't go through the lines. So you see there, I hit the side, can't go. I can go up. I go left. I don't move. I have to move back. Okay. So that's how to code your Pac-Man so that he moves around the screen correctly. Okay. Now then, after we've made our Pac-Man and we've made our maze, the next thing to do is to do our ghosts. And the best way to do that is in Paint. And it's a very very simple sprite to create. What we do is we start. You choose first. We'll choose the color you like. I like the bright colored one. I'm going to get for a bright green one here. Okay, we go for a um, circle first. There we go. 
Or I also suggest taking off the outline. I actually prefer not to have an outline. So let me do that again. Take the outline off there. Click on that little red line if you don't want an outline. Okay. Do your green circle. Perfect. And line it up in the middle. Great. Let me do a little square attached to that. Yeah, of course, you can move it up, make sure it matches up. Okay, and then how to do the bit at the bottom, I just do a few, there are different ways of doing this, and you'll see other people have done it in different ways, but I just think it's easy just to do a few circles. So you make one, and then you copy it. And then you just put those into the place you want them to go. And click on the other one. And again, you can use Control C and Control V to do that as well. So there you go. And finally, we're going to add our eyes. So obviously, you want to have white eyes, usually. I presume you want to have white eyes. So there you go. Quick white eye. Pop. Okay, and then copy that one. Okay, and then a black pupil inside your eye as well. Okay, you happy with that? Control V. There you go. And that is how to make it. And obviously you've made it now and you look on your screen and you're like, oh my goodness, that's far too big. And then we just click the right size you want it, maybe 20. I think 20 would be a good size for that. Okay, yeah, yeah that's okay. Actually, I think you need them a little bit smaller. Because you want to make sure it's the right size to go around your maze. So there you go, 18 is perfect. Okay, now coding him, there are different ways to do it. The way I like to do it best is just to use the glide function. So I start with the event when the flag is clicked forever. I use glide, okay? Uh, actually, I'm going to have him go to it first of all, okay? So when the flag is clicked, go to the position and then forever glide to, not to a random position. So he's starting it here a 198129, and then I want him to glide up to the top here. So you move him up to where you want him to be, okay? So you see here 193143, and then you go over here, and that's the correct coordinates, okay? Great, okay, now I want him to glide over to here. And again, the coordinates have updated, and I add that underneath. Okay. And then I want him to glide down here. All right. And I wanted to glide over here. So it's a little bit time consuming, but it is a very easy way to do it. Okay? And then I want him to glide, I'm going to glide all the way down to here. Okay, I'm going to let him glide through the walls, which is a little bit cheating, I know, but uh, just to show you how it works. Okay? All right, now, when I click the green one, watch the green flag, so that he moves up there, moves down there, moves down there. Okay, now what's happening there? It's moving a little bit too quickly, isn't it? I actually need another one. I actually need to, to, to move them over here as well. Okay, so what you have to do, you have to adjust the glide time for the longer areas. So this first one here, I mean, that's far too quick. Okay, so I'm going to change that to two seconds. Okay, I think the others are probably okay. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's okay. Go down, go down. Down. Okay, and I think that second last one is a bit too. Okay, there we go. That's how to get your, your Pac-Man moving around. And then obviously create other Pac-Man characters and do the same thing. Just set them up wherever you want him to go. Okay, so that's how to create the Pac-Man, how to create the grid, how to create the ghosts. Okay, now what you're going to have to do is you're, you're going to now want to code the Pac-Man so that if he touches the um, if he touches the sprite, he dies. That's a very very important thing. Okay, so you can see I've already done that for my first three sprites, um, and I just go ahead and do it again. So if, click the flag forever. If if there we go. If I'm going to sensing. If touching. 
And if you've named the sprite uh, Ghost or something, that's even better, but I haven't. I think it just, it was just named sprite number four. There we are. Sprite four. Okay. If touching sprite four, control game, then it all ends. Stop all. Okay. And that's how you make the game finish by when the Pac-Man hits the character. So you'll see now, look, I go up here and I hit the green character, game over, okay? Because it's touching him. Right, only one more thing to do now, and that is to add our snacks. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go to my other game to do this, okay? I'm gonna get rid of this one here. So here we have the, the snack. I've just got one snack at the moment, okay? And I'm going to code one first, okay? So I click on there, when, and then the motion, when it's clicked, go to, and then you set the position you want it to go to. Okay, I also want to make it um, appear, because it may well have been eaten. Hide. Okay, good. All right, now then, what I need to also do is, um, sorry, not hide, show. Show. Okay, so that means he'll come to this point right at the beginning. What I also need to do, I need to make sure that he um, disappears when it's touched. Okay, so we're going to have another one of here. When, forever, if, and again we're going to use the sensing thing, if it's touching, and this time we're going to say if touching the if touching the um, sprite one, that's Pac-Man, okay. Then I want him to hide. Okay, so that means he'll disappear. Okay, so you'll see here, oh, he was on him already, so. Okay, so you see that? Now he's coming towards him, munch, 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 pop. Okay, and then he's gone, he disappeared. Okay, the next thing you're gonna wanna do now is add a score, okay? So I'm gonna go to variables, I'm going to make a variable, okay? So you can call this score or cookies, I'm just going to call it score. Okay. Now then, on my Pac-Man sprite, I'm going to say that when I click um, green flag, the score set variable to zero, okay? So when you start the game, it will go back to zero. Okay. Now, what I also need to do is that when he's touching him, the score will change. Change variable by one. Okay, so let's see if this works now. Okay. So I go towards him. Munch. Yeah. Okay, let's try that again. Ah, change score. Sorry, not my variable. Change score. Make sure you choose the right variable. There we go. Okay. Right, what you need to do now is really, really quite tedious. Um, you need to create, you need to copy that again and again and again. Okay, so we click on here, we click duplicate. You can see it's created a new one there behind the uh, ghost. Okay, and then you click on that. The code's already done, but what you'll need to do is you'll need to update the location of it. Okay, so what I do is I find out where I want it to go. So I want this one to be right here, and then I take Go to position, okay, I change that, put that in there, put show in there, and get rid of that. Okay, now I'm going to create another one, and like I said, you probably need to do this about you know, 20 times, depending on how many you want. Okay, duplicate, okay, I want this one over here. Okay, and then again, you're going to need to go to move this over here, put it there, okay. And you'll see that works fine now. And you just repeat that for the entire game. And you can see here, I'm coming up and I'm going to eat my three. One, two, three. And they all get eaten. So there you go. As promised, a nice, easy Pac-Man game. Um, I'll leave a link to where you can see this game so you can kind of view inside it and see how it's working. But it's nice and simple. It's fun to do and it's fun to play. And you can really customize it as well, make it a neat as many cookies as you like and as difficult a grid as you like. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, 
please do click like. Also, if you finish this, this game and you're happy,